Okay, take a nice deep breath in and drop this. Drop that right arm down, like the right arm, let it fall. Drop this. Good. Drop it. Wow, good ankle release. This is cold. Drop. Lovely. Hey, Dr. Steve Shishani here. I'm with a new patient, Jordan. Welcome to the practice, Jordan. Okay, so as all with new patients, we want to take a little bit of a history. So uh, tell me about your experience with chiropractic care and what bugs you right now. Um, I think for right now, sometimes it's my neck to shoulders okay. and for sure my lower back. Okay. So what I'd like to do is uh, take, get a picture of what's going on. So we're going to use this uh, computerized analysis. We're going to take a picture from four different angles and it's okay. going to tell me exactly what's going on with your posture. All right, so just go over the background again one more time how you think you got this way. I think not working out as much, but then also maybe the change of a mattress. Um, so yeah, the difference of a lifestyle. Um, and I think that's what made me start to realize that this isn't normal and I need to come back to a chiropractor and get it all checked out. Okay, cool. All right, so that's what we typically find, and especially now lately, people are getting back to their routines. So for the pandemic, a lot of people worked from home and now they're getting back to their routine of either exercising or not exercising enough. So that's what we've seen, it's a big change. It's a stand right there, good. Normal posture, boom. Turn facing the window, boom. Stay right there, don't, sorry, my bad. Boom, and then facing the brick wall. Okay. I feel like I'm at an audition right now. <laughs> good, and now the other way. Okay, last one. Okay, cool, come on over here. You have a seat right there. All right. Oh gosh, my hair. I love the brick wall. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna digitize your posture. Okay. All right, so uh, can you pick some of this up? So the green line is the center of gravity. Uh, red line is where you fall in relationship to that center of gravity. So we see from here that your pelvis, which is down here, is slightly shifted to the right, and your shoulder's a little bit higher. Oh, wow. Yeah, pretty cool. This is a great screen. And you know what, it's funny you say that, because when I'm shooting, photographers are always like, uh, when your shoulder looks a little bit higher, why don't you adjust? And I'm like, oh, I didn't realize Posture is a window to your spine, and posture is not something you could control. It's usually controlled by your cerebellum, which is your brainstem. That's why chiropractic could work on correcting posture so much, and it's like involuntary. You can't like okay. control your digestion the same way you can't really control your posture. So there's a big tell right here. So this, your head, is going forward. And we see this in almost every patient, in what's called forward head posture. Mm -hmm. So that's Is that because we're always looking down on our cell phones now? You got it. Okay. Man, you're hired. Okay, so we go here. Wow, see, look at that. You can see that. Yeah. All right, so from here, we can see your right shoulder is riding higher than the left shoulder. And that's what you're feeling. And that's what the photographers are seeing. Mm -hmm. All right, so there we go. So the takeaway from this is your head weighs 9.4 pounds. If we cut it off and put it on the scale, we're not going to do that today. Okay. <laughs> it shifted almost two inches forward, right? Yeah. So effectively, your head is now 27.4 pounds as opposed to nine pounds. It's a lot. It is a lot. Uh, so just have a seat on this cushion right here. Right behind you, scooch back a little bit. Okay. Shoulders up right. High. Turn your head to the left, this way. Okay, turn to the right. A little harder to turn to the right, yes, or not really, there we go. Yeah, I guess because like, I feel it in the, pull. in the neck. Okay, back in the middle. Bring your head back into extension. Okay, back in the middle. Chin down. Okay, most people, this is easy to do, this range of motion, right? Mm -hmm. It's this range of motion coming back into extension that kind of squeezes a little bit. And that's where I'm always sitting there to myself and I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, you could feel that, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bend your head this way, I'm gonna push down. Does that bug you at all? No, but it feels good. Okay, come this way. <laughs> Okay. So there, okay, so there was more pressure I felt this way mm -hmm. than that way. Yeah, there's definitely some compression here. Okay. So I'm going to have you laying face down. I just want to do a, uh, see a leg check and see, feel what's going on. All right, so I'm going to do a leg check. Okay, so from here, your right leg appears to be about a quarter inch shorter than the right leg. Mm -hmm. And then we go into this flexion position. Flexion, flexion, flexion. It stays short. It doesn't cross over. So generally, it tells me there's something going on on the right side, whether it's a lumbar or a sacrum. So yeah. you just going to kind of feel. And when you were doing that, I could feel it in my lower back. You felt pressure. And like in the spine of the lower back, I okay. could feel it. We're going to do that again. So that's an, actually an orthopedic test. It's called knockless test. So when I do this and you feel pressure, that tells me something's going on. Usually when I adjust a person, after I adjust them, they, we do that and they're like, oh, wow, it's better. So you know, you know things are getting better. 
Uh, I'm going to hold your sacrum, and I'm going to have you lift this thigh as high as you can from the glute. So lift that right one as high as you can. Yep, you got it. Put it down, and then do the left one. Put it down. Which side's easier? Good. The left. Left, okay. So it seems that sacrum's rotated this way. Musculature. Okay. So I'm a little warm. That's okay. It's warm outside. <laughs> I was like running over here. That's okay. So I don't, if the camera could pick this up, I'm talking to the camera. The musculature on the left side is a bit more developed than the musculature on the right side. So this is tight, taunt, and this is kind of spongy. All right. So there's definitely more development here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, when we take x-rays, we can see where the spine is curved. Okay. Gotcha. Right near mid dorsal, upper neck. Okay, cool. All right, so this is enough to really get some images. So sit up straight. Let's get you on to take some x-rays. All right, so we'll start with the cervical. So your back is going to be right up against here. And uh, the hair clip, maybe take that off. Yeah. And I'll just put that right here. So I like taking images of patients so I can see what I'm, what's going on. So I'm not just cracking them. So I want to see exactly what's going on. So this is called the A to P open mouth. When I tell you to, open mouth. Oh, wait, I've, I've gum in my... Oh, let me get your napkin. Beautiful. Okay. Boom. So this is the lateral skull step right there. Good. A little more backwards. Okay, good right there. Uh, teeny tiny teeny step forward. Good. Okay. And just relax. Okay. Okay. C five. Okay, great. So we do AP thoracic, so let's see exactly what's going on. Okay. Oh, wow. So the walk over to you touching this. Okay, but this part of your body too. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, and we're looking at the right side and the left side. You can see how your shoulder's riding high here. Yeah. This is your upper cervical spine, Atlas, and your C2, which is the second bone, is rotated to the right. So it's, you can oh. see where I'm at. Your head's kind of huh. translated. Okay. And this is the big one that everyone needs to see. So this is the front, this is the back. When I'm looking at a normal or an ideal cervical spine, I'm looking for a backward C curve. So we need to work on restoring the curvature okay. to the spine. And that's that. And then we're going to go to the A to P, the frontal. So you can see right pelvis, left pelvis. Yeah, yeah. Because like right now, it's even if like working out, even you're stretching, mm -hmm. like you're going like this. All right, you're good like this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Right, short, stay short. So the first thing that I came up is we have a rotation in the lumbar spine. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust that lower lumbar segment. So lay on the side of your body, facing outside, facing this way. This goes here, that goes there. Come closer, more. All right, gotcha, good. Here, this goes here, rest your head back. I gotcha. Yeah, take it out, you have to be comfortable. <laughs> Take a nice deep breath in, and the chair all the way out. Drop this. Drop it. You okay with that? That was loud. Did that hurt? No. No? Good. Come on the other side. That went close. Switch. One, two, three. And this. This goes here. Breathe in. And this is clunker. You felt that one release? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's go face down. So that was lower lumbar and sacrum. And then remember that orthopedic test we talked about? So legs look balanced here. And when I go into the bending, how's this feeling? A lot better. A lot better? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So there's a little bit of a curvature going to the right. So let's see if we can get that. Breathe in. And let you all the way out. Good. Not too painful. No. Gotcha. That right shoulder, this is a big one. Take his right shoulder. Take a nice deep breath in and relax this. We rotate. Lovely. Ooh. You okay with that? Yeah. Okay, good. Sit up. I'm going to adjust your cervical spine a little bit different, okay? Okay, take a nice deep breath in and drop this. Drop that right arm down, like the right arm, let it fall. Drop this. Good. Felt that little release there? Yeah. Good. And this one's going to be a little bit different. 
Take a nice deep breath in, drop this left arm. Put your ear out. Okay, I've got them released, but we'll get another way. Lay flat on your back. Okay. All right, flat on your spine. Yeah. Drop this. There we go. Wiggle those toes for me. Like, make your toes wiggle. Got it. There we go. Oh, wow. Good. Did you feel that release there? Yeah. I know you felt that one. Release those ankles. Gotcha. Wow, good ankle release. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up for me. Okay, this is an instrument, so turn around facing the camera. Good, okay. I'm just gonna drop this. Take both hands, boom, like this. Shoulders back. Drop his right shoulder a little bit. Okay, so this is more of a neurological adjustment. But I'm gonna be pulling this right shoulder down a little bit, okay? Okay. And move your head with it too. Like if I'm yeah, like that. Perfect. Get back in the middle. Okay. Move around, tell me what's different. I feel like my my neck is elongated. Okay. Um, is that a little stuck? This doesn't hurt or like whatever. Mm -hmm. But then here I feel it like in here. Show me. Right in there. Musculature. Okay, let's put your hair back up in the hair clip. Okay. And then I'll show you what we usually find. So uh, we're gonna do some Graston. Actually, they you know, pops, cracks, a lot of snaps, but they don't usually address the soft tissue component. This is called the Graston instrument. It's a soft tissue device. You're gonna address the soft tissue component, okay? So I'm using some CBD cream. Okay. You okay with that? Yeah. Bring your head this way a little bit. So, you know, with your spine being as flat and missing the curve, these muscles are going to be overworked. So you see when I kind of glide down, I'm, I'm hitting a bunch of speed bumps. Mm -hmm. So this will help break up a lot of the fascia. So fascia is connective tissue that holds all your other tissues together. So just by doing this, it helps with some mobility. That's kind of like a deep tissue massage yeah. times 10. Almost gives me like a goosebump tickle feeling. Good stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And we do this in all different parts of the body. So people that have like, let's say plantar fasciitis, which is, you know, really painful bottom of the feet. We could do this on the IT band. We could do this on the hip, neck. But for you and like most people that have, you know, tight muscles up in here, it helps loosen it up back in the middle. Down. So typically what we do is in a follow up visit, we go over the x-rays and mm -hmm. put together a little bit of a treatment plan. Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> Right there. Okay, let me switch hands. This hand's getting tired. Sorry. No, that's all right. Right there. Okay, good. Let me see what your head looks like now when you move. Turn left this way. That's better. Yeah, it is. Turn actually. right. Yeah. Okay, that's better. Come back into extension. That's way better. Way better. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. So C2, good. All right, so we have some work to do uh, for our first visit. Not too bad, right? Yeah, it's great. Better? Yeah. Happy? All right, cool. Hey, I appreciate that you did the x-rays too, because the first visit. I went to A lot of people, chiropractors especially, they'll just crack people, crack people without a goal in mind. So what we do is we take x-rays, we look at their posture, we work on addressing the problem. So not just how you feel, it's how you function. So we'll take another set of x-rays in about 15, 20 visits and show you the improvement. So it's okay. objective, not just how you feel. Okay? Perfect.